And we're on the air. This is much sooner than I expected it to be, actually, uh, for us to basically be here transmitting. Um, my plans were to do several different types of videos before I went back to resuming the Final Fantasy VII stream. I wanted, I had at least two videos planned to work on this week, and then I was planning on picking up the Final Fantasy VII stream afterwards, but... Unfortunately, technical issues for both of those projects has kind of made both of those be put on the back burner right now. In one case, that may mean the cancellation of one of the projects I had in mind. Not much I could do about it. Um, I had in, It was just a video that I wanted to do for you guys. If I can't do it, it's not a big deal, and trust me, you guys aren't going to miss it very much. I had something else. I, I could at least do something out of it, so stay tuned on my, twi my Twitter feed for that information or on my website for any you know because there's there at least i could get something out of it not a video but i might have been able to get something out of it for the other thing i wanted to work on was another video uh, might as well tell you guys what was going on my um camera which i love has been with a part of gameaccess.net for the past five years is not crapping out on me the camera is working just fine it's the um it's because it's five years old the uh little screw hole that keeps my camera connected to a tripod and trust me with this type of camera you absolutely must keep it on a tripod at all times won't it fell apart it's cracked from age and overuse and you know you can see on my youtube channel how many hundreds of videos i've produced in the past five years with that camera and with my that tripod so basically this means I may need to get a new camera, or at the very least, start moving to getting a new type of phone that could shoot it. You know, that can you know a better phone than what I've got. Um, this phone is fine. It, video it shoots is mostly fine. The problem is that um, internal storage is not very good. Not because I didn't get the larger model. I did, in fact, get the larger model, but it's full. <laughs> Had it for two plus years. It's it's full. So, and I don't want to delete the data because I have important games on it and stuff like that. Stuff I just don't want to delete. Stuff I can't re-download anymore. So, my only option at this point is, is to simply just wait till I get a new camera or limit the content that I produce for the website. That all having been said, nothing wrong with a game stream. And I had a lot of um, love from you guys for my Final Fantasy VII uh, videos, especially the first one. A lot of people, com uh, several people commented on the first one. A lot of people liked that vi first video. Uh, second video, I think people are kind of holding off on watching until after they see the first. But I do have an ongoing um, playlist, and I will add this to the playlist after it's done. Again, I don't, just like with the last video, I don't expect this video to go over 45 minutes in length. In fact, actually, I want a time limit because. Tonight at 7 o'clock, um, the guys at Mystery Science Theater 3000, and they're doing this every day of the week, are going to be hosting a live double feature on their YouTube channel. And there is no way I'm competing against Joel and the bots. So, yeah, that's, that's going to happen. We will definitely be concluding this live stream one way or another before 7 o'clock. Now, a couple of other comments I want to make uh, before we continue on. This is, and I think this is important, I think people want to see action, so this is going to be a very, the last, the first episode was action, the second episode was dedicated strictly to story moments in Final Fantasy VII. This episode, as far as I can tell, will probably be more action with a more, little bit, a little bit of story at the beginning, but for the most part, I foresee this will be a pretty action-oriented episode. If not, I'm sorry about that, but my plan is to give you guys some action. So, let's load up the save, might as well get started. Here we are. We're going to be headed for the train right now, if you guys remember. Barrett has a plan to attack another reactor, so I'm going to join up with Avalanche right now. <laughs> okay, I did not know they were going to do that. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this place. Right. Okay. 
forgot to actually explore this. Let's explore this just a little bit, see if there's anything in here. I don't think there is, but I know I know there's random you can get random encounters here. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, here's a random encounter. A little action to start us off. Get a little XP for everybody. You're gonna grind a little bit. That's fine. Right, so I can't go that way. I don't think I can go down this way. Can't go this way. Can I? Maybe I could jump the train. Let's see. Can I jump from one train to another? I don't think I can. Okay. This is fine if I get some random battles. I really don't mind too much. I need the gill. It's all right. All right, I'll get going out of here because it doesn't look like there's anything going on over here except for some random battles. It's a good area to grind, but I know that there's going to be some grinding in the next portion anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, Avalanche went in here in the train. That's nice of him to say. You know, I like traveling by train. Most of the time, I'll take a train from, like... Um, I like to take trains up and down the East Coast, basically. I'm not exactly like a train enthusiast by any means, but... I mean, if I ever gotta go to New York City or something, I'll usually take a train up there instead of drive. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck. Say something. I said you say something. Is he talking to me? <laughs> now look at that. Got all empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It, it's empty because guys like you. Yikes. You've seen the news, right? Adelaide says there'll be more bombs. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? Uh, I won't give it a thought. Barrett! <laughs> you lucky beep! <laughs> so what are we gonna do now? Beep! The hell are you so calm? You busting up my rhythm! Train's underway. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. Must have been a starting station. Most of the time, I, you know, stuff I travel, the cars are already connected. So what's our next target? Ha, listen to Mr. Sirius about his work. All right, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking old trains, which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station, 1145. That means we've only got three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. <laughs> I like this guy. I like Barrett. Got it. Oh yeah, I'm with you, Barrett. This sounds like a good plan. I like this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's do it. Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Okay, well, first thing I want to do is talk to the bomb. Hmm, you're the only one who'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. Okay, he's not the bomb. He's the guy from the other. 
Ooh, it looks like you've seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. Oh boy, scanner's coming up. That's odd, the IU checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Oh boy. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Someone blew it. Unidentified passengers in car one prepare for lockdown. Let's go. Keep up. Thanks, hurry. They're locking the door, sir. Locked down up through the warning level three. Okay, so they're locking down. I want to talk to these people. Uh, yeah, they're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. Don't worry. If we move up the train car by car, we should get past it. Okay, why is this guy on the ground? Let's knock him down. Three lockdown upgrade of one level four. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything here of value. I thought maybe some of these guys would have some kind of item or something, but I don't see anything. Oh boy, there's a guy with a bomb. Why does a guy have a bomb? Do we have a Sunny Bono and Airplane 2 problem going on here? Alright, we made it. This way. Let's go, we're gonna dive out of here. Oh boy. No, I can't move. Scary, huh? I couldn't see Cloud behind the train guy. Wait for that now, why'd you come along anyway? Because. Hey you two, this ain't no time for that. gonna jump. You don't care if I go first? Leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Alright? Hey, look at your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. This is the beginning of the mission! Later, you can't go down the rest. Gotta love that guy. Good, so far everything's going as planned. We jumped off a train. Well, you always know the first thing the first the first thing to usually the first casualty of any plan is usually the plan, so yeah. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Okay. Okay, we got some grinding going on. A lot of people are probably going to ask me how I feel about the, um... I think that a lot of people are going to want to see or hear me comment about the uh, state of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Especially given what we know about it right now. I would have liked some items. That would have been nice. I believe I'm just seeing the same spot over and over again. It looks like they're reusing everything. Yep, it's the same item. It's just the same thing over and over again. 
more rocket launchers? No, it's not rocket launchers. Silkworms. Gigantic silkworms. Yeah, they're strong. They cause buffing. They don't really do too much damage. So as I was saying, the State of Final Fantasy VII's remake, um, I think that a lot of people are probably going to be like upset, uh, the fact that they said that they're going to release this episodically, but a couple of comments I need to make about Bricks. This is going to be a big game. Final Fantasy VII is a big game. I've heard that in some, pe in some cases, uh, players had to worry about the fact that um, they could theoretically hit like a 999 hours of gameplay in this. And um, that was bad for the original PS1 version because that game used, uh, it, it didn't have access to a real-time clock, so it actually could only use game time for that sort of thing. Yeah, hopefully I'll level up somebody. Okay, All, everybody's leveled up. Okay, every single one of these spots look the same, so I don't know. If I'm going the right way or the wrong way, but... Okay, I have to admit that at this point in the game, basically, I don't know where I am and I don't know where I'm going. I really, I, I don't have any information on that sort of thing. I haven't played this, I haven't played this, really. And, uh, any of the further parts of the game I haven't played either, so I don't know what's going on. All I know is that all the levels are the same right now. shooting their buffs and debuffs and stuff right now. I'm kind of hoping that since I level these guys up, they'd be a little bit more powerful. They have good defense, just not very good offense and attack. It's like a bear, of course. Okay, we got something here. down. Okay, an ether. Going down. Oh boy, these bastards. Not much damage, unfortunately. Darn it, 
keep us asleep. Jesus, these things will not go down. Fire effects this thing. Alright, fire seems to be a trick. Okay, moving on. Edge cloud this way, the reactor's up this ladder. I'm sorry, the ID scan problem in the term was my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. Tifa, she needs a potion. If you guys are curious, I'm just grinding the area right now. Tifa leveled up. I need to level her up a bit. There's not much going on here, so... I just wanted to grind a bit. Let's see if there was any items and stuff, too. I don't see any items here. go down. This freaking thing's immortal or something. This thing's got a lot of health on him. Not worth much XP either. Fair enough. I know all this stuff kind of integrates up here, basically, so... Like, all these different areas and stuff just kind of integrate together, I know that. So... That's what I thought. Heal Tifa a little bit. She needs it. That's a powerful cure spell she's got. Okay, so um, since we're in the middle of this battle, let's um, talk a little bit really quickly. 
I don't know this game like the back of my hand, so I really can't comment uh, or, or play through it with mastery. I'm just playing it like I would any other RPG, basically, which is grinding and things like that. So that's fine, but um, I mean, I like this, and I, I'm really excited for the remake. Now, I know that there are two major things that people have been talking about as of today, as of recently, that are pretty serious, actually. One is, okay, need a tent. Okay, definitely want to save here. Okay, I have save access. Save. I'll save it here. Okay, over here. We're gonna pull out now, we'll meet at the hideout. Cloud count, I need to blow up the reactor. Okay. Hope I grinded enough. I didn't really grind that much. That's kind of cool. Well, I don't see any item boxes or anything like that. I guess I can grind a bit down here because it's all random here. I have no idea what these guys are. Let's see what a bolt does to them. Fire goes to him. These attacks don't do much. Gotta yeah, hold that limit break off. Should be able to use it later. Okay, I gotta level up. Alright, moving on. Looks kind of similar to the other one, but... Weird things. <laughs> So close to leveling up Tifa, but I got Cloud in the at least. The reactor in here. Okay, it's an elevator. something out of it. That's not bad. I don't think it's going to
Don't really have much magic left, but that's alright. I got some. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to go up later. Yeah, I have to, what do you call it? To the other one first. Right, that's fine. Okay. So, let's talk a little bit while I'm grinding down here, because I, I think I have to go back downstairs to do what I have to do. Let me talk a little bit about my thoughts about the Final Fantasy VII Remake being released episodically. Now, we learned two things this past weekend about Final Fantasy VII's Remake, other than the fact that it looks incredibly awesome if those are in here, if that's in Grim Video. The first is, is using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, Epic confirmed this, it is using Unreal Engine 4, it is not using in-house uh, graphics engine, they did that for time. Fine. Unreal Engine 4 is incredible, it's powerful, I'm glad they're using it. I have no problem with that. Barrett is going to use fire here on everybody. I'm going to use some fire. And now we're just going to basically attack everybody because there's just no point. I'm going to hold off on the little board just yet. down here. Recognize these graphics a little bit. Looks like I'm coming down here alone. A little upsetting doing this about Jesse and Wedge and Biggs and everybody. So yeah, we found out also that the Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be released episodically, which is good! Um, well, it's good that we know this, it's not... Some people have said, well, it's a bit of an issue, it's, they, don't, they don't want the game released episodically, they prefer to play Final Fantasy VII in one, you know, fell swoop. I don't know how I feel about that. And that's kind of why I've been kind of holding off saying anything about it throughout this whole stream. I mean, episodic, when it was first tried, didn't work. The only way episodic games succeeded back when they were first really brought, at, brought back in the modern gaming age was... Gonna save here was in 2006 when games like the Sin episodes and um, which never saw a second episode and um, Half Life 2 episode 1, which never got a episode 2 release standalone. And obviously, we still to this day have not seen Half Life 2 episode 3 or a sequel to Half Life 2. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, basically, because it's just too soon to expect. However, I'm taking this under, like, one big assumption. Here's the message again. Oh, crap. I don't think I've ever gotten it. Oh, what am I seeing? Papa? Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, Soldier, Mako Reactor, Shinra? I hate them all! Oh my. Tifa's dad was killed by Sephiroth? Damn man, get a hold of yourself. You alright? Tifa. Mm hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. Um, okay, so, so finishing up, here's, here's, here's my thing. It's gonna take, to remake this whole game, and I was kind of going out about this 
some people can actually play this game in exceeding of 999 hours, 900, you know, 99 minutes, 90, you know. They can, they can certainly do that. And the problem with that is, is that it means it's a big game. It would take a very long time to recreate detail by detail in Unreal Engine 4, even if you're an expert with Unreal Engine 4. But, that having been said, if you're going to use Unreal Engine 4 and target that engine, which is in no danger of going obsolete, it's top of the line, in fact, it, it's, you know, it is, you know, it is great looking. Then you can release the game episodically using the same graphics engine, same assets, that sort of stuff, where applicable, and still release something good. Now, if they were to make this game all by itself, he's setting, up the, he's setting us up the bomb. No countdown? Okay. Is that it? Back attack. Oh, that's not right. I don't know how much damage this thing's gonna do, so I'm just gonna... I'm not, I'm just, I'm basically sparing my MP right now. I know I can probably take these guys out with my MP, with my magic attacks, but for right now, I really just want to save it. Well, Tifa can actually use some healing, so I'll heal first. Alright, Basically, at this point, just grinding XP. Uh, so, back to what I'm trying to say. I know the game is constantly distracting me from trying to make my point, so maybe I should learn not to make grandiose statements or give my opinion during certain sections or anything like that. Um, my point is, is that I I think that um, I think I, I'm not saying I think that this is the best decision that Square Enix could possibly make, but I understand their their decision to do this. If I think that after they announced the Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, last uh, for E3, um, I think when they announced it, they said that it would probably be until at minimum 2017 for them to release the entire, to remake the entire game, even using whatever it was they were using at the time, whether it's Unreal Engine 4 or whatever else. To remake Final Fantasy VII in modern graphics of anything would take, at, you know, several years, a very long time. And uh, I understand that. The problem is, is that I don't want to wait that long, and I don't think that Square wants to wait that long either. I think they want to have a product that people can buy. And seeing the returns that they're getting for a game like Life is Strange, even though it is a completely different type of game, see, just seeing how well that game did, both in critical reviews and financial success for them, they're seeing, it's possible they could be seeing Even though the Life is Strange is such a different type of game than Final Fantasy VII is, I I could at least understand some of the business sense here. Well, I definitely prefer to have like a full-fledged retail game. I, I mean, I can't really fault Square. My point is, is that I'm not going to judge Square Enix for what they're doing, basically. So, at least not right now. If the final product is terrible, if they decide to basically release it like 15-minute episodes in the charge, 
you know, 30 bucks an episode. That I can understand, but here's my advice to Square Enix. And this is something that basically people should be aware of. Did I miss something? I can't run. Okay, I guess not. I guess this is the right spot. Okay. Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. No good, let's try it. Cloud didn't you do it with them. He didn't do it. Oh, I do it with them. Do I really have to figure this one out? That's gotta do it. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Get this perfect. That's ridiculous. That was perfect. That's it. That's ridiculous. It had to be that perfect. I'm gonna save it here and, and quit and quit here for right now. Um, we're getting to about 45 minutes in the game clock. And it's about 50 minutes until. I like to keep these chunks at about 45 or so minutes. I don't like going over that, especially given the fact that I know this is a long game. You know what? Screw it. I got. I got more time. I got time. I'll go to the next save. I know this is going to be a bit of a longer episode than what you guys might be used to, but... Let's heal Cloud. Right? I gave him all magic, that's why. I'm like, why is Barrett able to do an area of attack with that attack? And that's because I gave him all magic, or I should say all materia, and assigned it to that particular slot. So, yeah, that's why. That's what the all materia does. I should give it to Tifa. Tifa? Let's see. No, I can't. It's not compatible. All right, I'll keep. I'll give it. I'll give it back to Baron. Yeah, I 
I'll give people ether. Can ether them up. Okay, so that's something. Set. Oh boy. Shinra soldiers. B what the hell's going on? Trap? Okay. Barrett. President Shinra. Why is the president here? Hmm. So you must well must be what was it? Avalanche, and don't you forget it. So you're President Shimra, huh? I wouldn't go around admitting that. Long time no see, sir. Long time no see. Oh, you're the one who quit, soldier, and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako. But look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Well, I... Unless you become another separate one. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a bang soon. Serves you all right. Such a waste of good fire. We should get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shimmer's the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that make you king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that! I ain't got started with you yet! But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Meet Airbuster, our techno soldier. Our weapons development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be great use. Oh boy. Techno soldier? Oh, a helicopter. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, president. Oh boy. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Oh, boss fight, I think. Help, Cloud! This from soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. Boss fight! Love this tune. Okay, I love this tune. Okay, magic attack, fire. I don't think fire is gonna do my stroll. Let me, let me just attack him. I'm gonna definitely use bolt on because he's a robot. And as for Tifa, I'm just gonna have her attack him because I don't know what else to do. I don't have too much material. I, I didn't give her any other than useful material. Great. Okay, the parrot's got a limit quick. I'm calling up a save on this one. I don't like that. I want to refight this thing. Wow. Hey, you're going to be all right? this again. 
I want to play that boss again. I do not want to have to fight. I, I, I'm not. I'm not risking Barrett not leveling up on that. That's BS. Barrett should get up. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? The church. Aerith. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I know I can't do it as well as Mandy Moore can. I'm sorry. <laughs> I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Okay, okay usually... Usually those are where you die. But Cloud's a tough, tough guy, so I'll admit that. Flower bed, is this yours? Sorry about that. That's all right. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. Oh, I have control. So we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, yeah, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. Okay, there's no save point here I can use. Just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it... We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... joke there for you uh, translators. I'm surprised they didn't change that. I'm Aries, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry, bad timing on my part. Cloud, oh, don't let it get to you. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Get me out of here. Take me home. 
Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay, then let's see. How about if I go out with you more? Oh, that's sweet. I'd say yes to that. You better say yes to that, Cloud. I don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taking it. Reno? That's Reno? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. The exit is back there. I don't think I'm any match for Reno right now. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right. Let's come on, get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself, Deborah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, I was not expecting that to work, but all right. Cloud, that one. I know, it looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let him catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. This way. She doesn't wanna jump. All right, I'll hold them off. All right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. Oh. You're pretty good at holding them off. I think you got it. That would help. I have no idea if this girl can fight, but I'm going to try to help her. She doesn't have magic attacks. Okay. I am terrible at this scene.
the ice with them. Well, if they go down on one hit, no reason to go for ice. Point soon, or else I'm gonna cut the speed without saving. About 30 minutes away from the uh, start of the MST3K marathon. I have no idea what's gonna work, so I'm just gonna try this one. Apparently, I'm wrong every time, so. Nope. I can't win with the- I can't win! The, the barrels go completely inconsistently. The barrels are too inconsistent, I would have needed to check the hint guide or something to figure out where they went. And that's another thing, actually. Square has actually decided to republish uh, proper uh, manual- not manuals, uh, hint guides. For Final Fantasies, I think 7, 8, and 9 at the very least. Here's the thing though. 7, 8, and 9 are still out of are out of print. Except for this. So what's the point of the hint guides if not for digital downloads of the games? And the only way to digitally download them is on either the is on the PlayStation 3 or PC, except for, you know, 9. Okay. Well, sorry the barrels didn't help. Okay, at least the two of us are together. She's not very powerful. Trying to go. Oh, there we go. Uh, they're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. Oh, that music. Oh, that song. They're the Turks. The Turks are a Shinra organization. This got a possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were some. They were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. FYI, the Turks kind of became a fan favorite since Final Fantasy VII. There actually were several games, uh, some of which that never left Japan, that were devoted specifically to the Turks organization. I know for a fact that um, Reno, for example, actually had more... Um, he appeared actually quite a bit more than um, Barrett did in Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. No, not really. I think they believe they have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Wait, wait, I said.
We slow down, don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. <laughs> hey Cloud, were you ever in soldier? I used to be, how'd you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. It's a sign of those who've been fused with Mako, a mark of a soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Yeah, I'm actually going to stay with her there. You finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Heard before they come. Let's go this way then. See if there's anything here. Oh, it's just a church. Yay! A save point. Saving. Okay, we're going to end this stream here, and this should take us right back to the main menu. Um, so that is part three of our ongoing Final Fantasy VII um, retrospect, or just stream. I can see now why everybody likes uh, Aries so much. This is an amazing game. This truly is an amazing game uh, so far. I haven't played that sequence before. That was the first time I, I, I ever played it, so it, that's why I was kind of quiet through a lot of it. I just decided to let the game play itself out. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you'd like for me to continue, please subscribe to my uh, channel, um, either on YouTube or Twitch.tv. And uh, my intention is, is that uh, I would like to have guests whether it be my girlfriend, Princess Angel, or, or other fans. I, I have some friends that are fans of the Final Fantasy series. I'm trying to get my friend, uh, who is a devout Final Fantasy enthusiast and also now a converted Mac gamer, who I'd like to have uh, come in. We are talking about maybe Saturday, but that's tentative. I'd also like to get my friend, the unknown camera person, who, if you visit my website, uh, there's a re I can't divulge their identity. Um, I'm trying to convince them to, to, to come on in and do the stream, not for a uh, picture, but for uh, to provide audio, basically, meaning to be here, a, well, to be here, but voiceover only. They're not willing to let their identity be divulged under any circumstances, of course, but voice is okay, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to convince them at least to do voice work, but... Um, they're not as much of a fan of the real-time, I should say, they're more a fan of the real-time Final Fantasy games as opposed to the uh, turn-based ones. So there is a, the, the, that's tentative as well. Um, but uh, that's the hope for right now. We'll see, we'll see what's going on there. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to cut the video feed right now. But you'll still be able to hear me. So until next time, guys, this is... Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the stream. This is Maniac with GameAccess.net.